which equation are the parent functions of the graph shown below? So we're going to match this, this graph with one of these. So you gotta kind of have to remember what all these look like. So y is equals absolute value of x. Remember, absolute value always gives positives. So this one can't be knit because be, because we have negative values. Um, square root of x. Square root of x. Remember, looks again cannot be. If you have x is equal to a negative number, it can't be it. And um, we take a simple. Think so square root of 4 has to be 2, and this is not 2, so it's not it. x squared, we all know how x squared looks like, it's like this, like that, that's definitely not it. And y is equal to x, looks like that, so it's j. So you, need to, you just need to remember what each one of these kind of look like. During a, sale, during a sale at a shoe store, all shoes were 25% off the original price. Which statement best describes the function relationship between the sell price of a pair of shoes and the original price? All right, so first we got to know what 25% the, the price means. So say the original price was X dollars. You take 25% off it's X minus 0.25 of the X or 0.75 X. All right, to sell the price is dependent of the original price, which is true. Dependent means the sell price depends on the original price. Okay, so that's that's right. So we'll put a check next to it. The original price is dependent on the sell price, and that's no because it's saying it's saying the the original price depends on the sell price. So the sell price changes, the original price changes. No, it's just the other way around. If the original price changes, the sell price can change as well. The sell price and original price are independent, independent of each other. No, we established as twenty five percent off the original. That's not it. Not it. So the answer is A. The twelve consider circle Q has a diagonal diameter W Y. So we draw a circle. It's not a pretty circle, but whatever. Has the diameter W. Why? Point W is located at 3, negative 2, and point Y is located at 5, and negative 6. Which of the following ordering pairs represents Q, the center of the circle? Alright, so let's draw the circle then. So at 5, and negative 6, this point, and 3, and negative 2 that point. So that's the diameter. So, so it's going to look something like that. It's not the best point, but whatever. Uh, which of the following order pairs represents Q, the center of the circle? So you know the center of the circle has to be between 3 and 5, which is going to be 4. So that's not a 4. That's not a 4. That's not a 4. So the answer is G. Okay. So remember the center is right in the middle. So it's kind of fun is you use the midpoint formula, but since it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. We don't have to use the midpoint formula because um, it's between three and five. So it has to be in the middle. It has to be in the middle of the x's and the y's. So it's four, and the middle of negative two, negative six is negative four. So the answer is G. That was easy enough. Uh, Miss Rodriguez plans to order twenty. Plans to order from twenty to twenty-six books for her class. The prices of the books she plans to order range from four ninety five to twelve ninety five each. If the publisher charges a shipping fee of fifty cents per book ordered, which the following is not a reasonable price for the books, including including shipping. So what we have to do is add fifty cents to both of these. So you add fifty cents to the first one, becomes five point four forty five. You add fifty cents to the other one is thirteen point forty five. Okay. So we gotta so pretty much you're gonna plug in twenty and twenty five and two twenty six. So you gotta try to find the ranges. So you put plug in twenty, so twenty times this, and then twenty six times this. And you get you do your calculator, so twenty times five point forty five, it's one oh nine. But this is mean this means it's gonna be the cheapest. This is the lowest amount you can pay. And thirteen forty five. 
times 26 is 349.70. So this is the, the cheap. This is the least amount of money you're going to pay, and this is the most amount of money you going to pay. That's a big, big difference. But so if that's question asking, which of the following is not, not a reasonable price? So we gotta know we gotta find which one of these is not within this range. 145 is 245 is 245 is 445. It's way over here, so that's definitely not it. So the answer is D. Because remember it's not a reasonable price, so it's not within the range. Number 14. Bobber graphs a family of equations of the form y is equal to ax squared plus one. How does each graph compare to the previous graph as poverty increases the value of A from one half to one to one one and one half and finally to two? Okay. So the only thing she is changing is the A. So remember the A tell you if it's wide. If A starts increasing, then it starts getting more narrow. Meaning it goes from this to this to this and so on and so on so which one of these is true okay each new graph is above the previous graph no because it has the same starting point which is one so we say this is the first one it has that one you increase a this is this and then it gets like this. The new graph gets is wider than the previous. Not really wider. Again, if A is increasing, it gets narrower. If it gets decreasing, then it is wider. So it's not wider. So the answer is H. Gets narrower. That's what you have to remember. A increases, it gets more narrow. All right, rectangle PQRS is shown on the grid below. Which equation best represents a line that is parallel to PR? So this is PR. So remember what parallel means. Parallel is so in order for you to be to, in order for a line to be parallel, that's have same same slope. So we have to find the same slope of PR. Mr. Work, please come to the front desk. So we, we know that it's going to be negative because it's decreasing. It goes from positive to negative. So you can right away cross out those two. Okay. So let's find the slope. So P, P is located at negative 3 and 5. R is located at 5 and 1. So you do negative 3. So we do 5 minus 1 is y1 and y2. y1 minus y2 and x1 minus y1. So you go to 4 over negative 8. So this gives you negative 1 half. So the slope of negative 1 half. So its the answer is, sorry, the answer is D, negative 1 half.